Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 17th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Baby's a lightweight garment with snaps. That would be a onesie, right? Let's see if we can build off of this. Pod vegetable in gumbo. That's okra. Part of speech that might be proper. There's a proper noun. That's somebody's name. Blank Franklin. Gospel singing sister of Aretha. I know I've seen this name before. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come up with it. Kind of cuisine with kimchi. That is a Korean dish. Okay. Med school subject. And we have an abbreviation in our clue. So that means our answer needs to be abbreviated as well. I think this is going to be anatomy. So is this Irma? That sounds vaguely familiar. Icon that lights up during a turbulent plane ride. That would be the seatbelt sign. Writer Fleming, that's Ian Fleming. Finishes. Hmm. I wonder if it's ends at. Is that right? Finishes. It could be ends on. Let's take this out. I'm not sure if that's correct. This might be our first theme answer here. Two ingredient drink order. That should be rum and coke probably. And it does look like it's pointing to a revealer down here. Counterpart of trans in gender identity terminology. That would be cis, the opposite of trans, yeah. Diner seating option. That would be a booth, right? Vax? Hmm. I wonder if it's irk. This could be about annoying someone. Baby's dribble catcher. That would be a bib. It's kind of interesting that it's right next to onesie here. We've got two baby items. Minecart filler. Okay, that's got to be or. Finishes. Interesting. Use a chair. Okay, yeah, that's going to be sit. So maybe it is ends at or ends on. Distinctive effect of paint applied to a canvas. Would that be brush strokes or maybe brush stroke yeah because it asked for effect so our answer should be singular brush stroke okay and this is definitely a theme answer too because it's pointing to the same revealer blunder that could be air 2016 denzel washington viola davis film whose title refers to real and metaphorical barriers um Hmm, I'm not sure if I know which movie this is. Oh, is it Fences? That would make sense, right? I did see that movie, it was very good. Okay, lacks what it takes. Hmm, doesn't have it? That definitely wouldn't work. Bottom row PC key. I wonder if that's control. Again, because we have an abbreviation in our clue, our answer is abbreviated as well. Zellweger, who played Judy Garland in 2019's Judy, that was Renee Zellweger. Glasgow Gal. Glasgow is in Scotland, and they call gals lasses in Scotland, but it'll just be last singular because we have gal singular. Length times width for a rectangle. If I remember my geometry, that's the area of a rectangle. Convent residence. That has to be nuns. Okay. Lacks what it takes. I guess this is just cannot. Service center for big rigs. Well, it starts with truck. I don't know how it's going to end, though. Bakery treats that are sweeter than their name suggests. Is this tarts? That's really funny. Yeah, they're not really tart, are they? Poet Gertrude. That is Gertrude Stein. Group with many Mideast members. 
That's got to be OPAC, the oil cartel. So maybe this is ends up? Yeah, I guess so. Caboose's location? The caboose is always at the rear, no matter what kind of caboose you're talking about. Meryl with eight golden globes. That's Meryl Streep. Spinning skewer. Hmm, I guess that's a spit. Spend some time in the sun, maybe. That's gotta be tans. Thorny sources of pride for a gardener. Okay, so they're asking for sources, plural. So maybe this is rose bushes? Let's see if that's right. Is this Tse? China's Mao Tse Tung. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, let's see what this grid spanner is. How to manual. Shouldn't that be an instruction book? Yeah, that looks good. Uh, it's not a truck stop. Hmm. Big audio equipment brand. I have a feeling that's going to be Bose. The sky's the limit. Atlanta-based network. That is TBS. Blank Daisy. That should be Oopsie Daisy. Uh, oh, it's truck stops, plural. Oh, it is. It's centers, plural. Oh, man. Okay. Yawn inducing. It's not boring. Hmm. What is it? Cozy spot. That could be a nook. Nice. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Is that right? I don't know if I've ever heard that phrase before. What french fries fry in? That would be hot oil, right? Yawn inducing. It really does look like it's going to start with boring. Tilt sideways. I could be lean. So this is PTA, Scholastic Book Fair Org. That's right. Atlantic or Pacific? Yeah, those are both an ocean. It's just singular because they asked for one or the other. Frisbee sport. There's ultimate, right? Ultimate frisbee. Regional flora and fauna. I suppose you would call that biota, the local wildlife. Use a tab key, say. Uh, I would really want this to be inset, but that's too short. Hmm. Artist and musician Yoko. That's Yoko Ono. What's our next theme answer here? Recurring comical reference. That would be a running joke. That's interesting. That kind of sounds a lot like rum and coke, doesn't it? Rum and coke, running joke. Brush stroke. Instruction book. Hmm. I feel like these three rhyme, coke, stroke, joke, but book does not rhyme. Hmm, what's going on here? I'm not sure what this theme is about. I guess we'll find out once we hit the revealer. Staircase part. It's not the railing? Hmm. And the blank to know the difference. End of the serenity prayer. That's the wisdom to know the difference, right? Boat's trail. That is awake. Tennis great Arthur. That's Arthur Ashe. Sharp-witted could be keen. Once, once. So this is going to be an old-timey way of saying once. Hmm. What is this? Staircase part. I guess this is a riser. Oh, so this is erst, like in the word erstwhile. That's very tricky. And this is indent, not inset. Yeah, that's definitely a better answer. Environmental activist Thunberg. That is Greta. Delight could be joy. This is kind of tricky because it could be a noun or it could be a verb, yeah. In this case, it's a noun. Go bad. That's rot, yeah. Bit of body ink is a tat. 
And because ink is kind of a slang term for a tattoo, we have another slang term for a tattoo in our answer. Ooh, these are Greek letters. H or I don't even know how to pronounce this in the Greek alphabet. I guess that's the lowercase eta in the Greek alphabet. Wow, that's tricky. Tell on. And when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that same word needs to go at the end of your answer. So I think this is going to be rad on. And let's take a look at our revealer here. Query of concern or a phonetic hint to two pairs of letters appearing in 17, 24, 37, and 48 across. Query of concern. Okay, this should really be, are you okay, right? So we have okay in all of our theme answers. Is that it? Two pairs of letters. I guess that's all it is. Is that really all it's about? Just having phrases with okay in them? Hmm. Man, that seems kind of light. I mean, I guess it is a Monday theme, but... Wow, I guess it's just phrases with okay in them. All right. Informal term for college in Great Britain. They call it uni, right? Board. Oh, is it... Boredom? No, that's not the right part of speech. Under consideration. Hmm. One whose property is being held as debt security. Okay, that person would have a lien against them. So they'd be a leany. That's a very tricky word for a Monday puzzle. Similar to. Okay, I think this is going to be akin to. Reasonable could be sane. Park name in London and Chicago. I've never been to London, but I know there's a Hyde Park in Chicago. Pageant accessory, that's gotta be a sash. Boresome, is that a word? Wait a minute. This should be in mind, yeah. So it is boresome. I have never heard that word before. That's crazy. I find this boresome. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and throw this M in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in just under 17 minutes. So I said while we were solving, are you okay? Just having the letters okay in the theme answers felt a little thin to me. Yeah, it really seems like there should be more going on in this theme, even for a Monday theme. And I was thinking about it after the solve, and that is indeed the case. There's more going on than just okay. It says a phonetic hint to two pairs of letters. So we found one pair, but we need another pair. And the first pair is right here, are you. There's also an RU hiding in each of our theme answers as well. Look at this. RU, 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 and RU. That is much better. Yeah, that feels like a complete theme to me. Are you okay? Each theme answer contains both of those pairs of letters. Rum and Coke, Brush Stroke, Instruction Book, and Running Joke. Very nice. Yeah, I'm really happy to see that there was a little bit more to that theme. I think the only other thing I wanted to note about this puzzle was this very tricky cross here. Boresome and leany. Yeah, those are both pretty tricky words. Yeah, it's kind of a nasty cross for a Monday puzzle, but thankfully we got through it okay. All right, well, I hope you were okay solving that Monday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday solve, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.